Hello friends, let's talk about what are UI elements, types of elements along with examples. Every designer should master UI elements or user interface elements as they are the core and most vital part of any software application like mobile, web or desktop. So let's have a look at what are the three types of elements in UI. First one is input controls, second navigational components and the third one informational components. So let's explore the first UI element type that is input controls along with examples. Input controls are interactive elements of the interfaces. It allows the users to enter the information into the systems interface. So the first element under the input controls is checkboxes. Checkboxes allows the user to select one or more options from a set. It is usually best to present checkboxes in vertical list. Second one, radio buttons. Radio buttons are used to allow users to select one item at a time. Then we have drop down list. Drop down list allows the users to select one item at a time. Similarly to radio buttons, but are more compact allowing user to save the space. Then we have list boxes. List boxes are similar like check boxes, which allows the users to select multiple items at a time. Then we have button. Button is an indication of any action upon a touch and typically labeled using text icon or both. So under button, there are four types of buttons. You can see text button, outline button, contained button, and toggle button. A toggle button allows the user to change a setting between two states. There are most effective when on off states are visually distinguished. Text fields allows user to enter text. It can allow either a single line or multiple lines of text. At the end, we have a date picker. Date picker allows users to select a date or time. By using the picker, the information is consistently formatted and input into the system. Second type of element is navigational components. So let's look at some of the examples which comes under navigational components. The first one is search box. Search box allows users to enter a keyword or a phrase and submit it to search the index with intention of getting back with the most relevant results. Second one is breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs allows users to identify their current location within the system by providing a clickable link of proceedings pages or to navigate by. Third one is pagination. Pagination divides content up between pages and allows users to skip between pages or go in order throughout the content. And then we have a slider. A slider is also known as a track bar allows users to set or adjust a value. When the user changes a value, it does not change the format of the interface or the other info on the screen. And then we have an icon. An icon is simplified image serving and an intuitive symbol that is used to help users to navigate the system. The third type is information components. So let's look some of the examples which comes under the information components. The first example which comes under the information components is a notification. You must have seen a notification is typically a message that announces something new for the user to see. Notifications are typically used to indicate items such as the successful completion of tasks or an error or a warning message. And then we have a progress bar. Progress bar typically indicates where user as they advance through a series of steps in a process. Typically progress bars are not clickable. And then we have a tooltip. A tooltip a tool allows a user to see hints when they hover over an item indicating the name or purpose of the item. So now that we have understood what are the common UI elements and how they work, it's time to implement it in your regular practice. Thanks for watching the video and please subscribe to my channel and press the like button and if you have any comments please share your comments below.